Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how we can refresh the page after we've run our server-side document generation. So just to show you what I did in the last video, uh, we have a button that says run report. So I'll click onto that. And you can see that it's opened up another tab and it has in fact run the document. Uh, we just don't have a confirmation message. So just to prove that, if I come back and have a look at the attachments uh, in related, um, and just go to view all. Uh, that's one that I've just run now and that's the current time. So one important thing I want to show you in this URL up the top, um, if we just copy that to notepad and I'll zoom in so you can see, we have this variable over here called WS and you can see that WS equals lightning. So what this indicates is that this Omni script is being run in Lightning. If you're running it in experience, WS will be null. So that's a great way to determine whether you're running something from Lightning or from experience. So just wanted to point that out. So coming back in, we're going to go back into our server side uh, Omni script over here, and I'm just going to create a new version. And then I'm going to add a new step called navigate. And we'll drag that right to the bottom. And I'm just going to give it a bit more of a meaningful name. And then scrolling down, so the page reference type is going to be a website or URL, a web page. We're going to replace. So replace means that um, it disables the user from navigating back to the OmniScript. And then we've got our web URL here. So in this one, um, I'm just going to go forward slash and then we're going to put in contact ID like that. And I may need to put in, well, actually, it's more like that. So forward slash and then contact ID. And um, because I don't have experience to show you this, um, but what we could do as well in our set values, I can go WS and then this can equal ws like that and then in my navigation i can have a conditional view and so i can say something like when ws does not equal now and the reason i'm showing you this is because even though i don't have experience in this particular sandbox or, or dev org i do in my normal org and what we want is we have the same document generation that runs in both environments and we want the navigation to be relevant to the environment. So I have one that says navigate to this URL if I'm using Lightning and navigate to a different one if I'm using Experience. So not relevant for this example, but I just wanted to show you it anyway. So we have there not equal to now, navigate us to a web page of contact ID, which is being passed through. So let's activate that and test it. All right, and then coming back into the contact, um, or just over here, I'm just going to refresh the page and close everything I've got open. So that should work. I might just do a empty cache and hard reload. And we'll run a report again. So you can see that's run and my page is now automatically refreshed. And if I scroll down and click on view all, that's the current time. So that's worked as we expected it to.